Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Lindsay here, and in this video, I'm going to share with you guys how um, one of the ways that you can actually search for products for your e-commerce store. Now, there are many ways that you can actually find um, find products, get ideas for products, um, draw inspiration and things like that, but I'm going to share with you one that was really extremely helpful inside of my e-commerce career in the beginning, and um, I know a lot of, uh, you know, e-marketer, not e-marketer, but e-commerce, um, you know, People who do e-commerce now, whatever else, and who teach it, they tend to stay away from it because they feel like it's not helpful, but I think it's still highly effective, okay? So where we're going to go is, hold on a second, is watchcount.com. Now, once you are here, um, like I said, this is like one of the main ways that I was actually searching for um, products and things like that, and I'll show you the reason why so many people don't use watchcount anymore. But um, I, like I said, I still think it's a really helpful tool. Tool. So with Watch Count, it's basically going to show you the best-selling products that are found on eBay. So right here in this keyword section, you can put any keyword like your niche or anything like that, and put that information here. So let's say we're gonna uh, let's try jewelry because if you're new to e-commerce and you're wanting to open up a store, jewelry is a really great way to start because it, um, you can buy it for you know a low cost on AliExpress. But you can also charge for a higher pro like a higher margin on your store because jewelry um, it has a perceived um, a high perceived value to it or what, whatever the case may be. So that way you can actually earn more of a profit from jewelry. So let's say we're gonna do this. I'm gonna click enter. Now we're gonna see all the products, not all of them, but at least we're gonna see at least about 75 in this particular search that are, you know, are the top sellers on eBay for this particular keyword. So now you can see here we have like this little um, ear cuff, we have these rings, we have this necklace, and so on and so forth. Now, what, how to um, basically tell this is a really good product is right now, right here highlighted, you see that there's over 5,600 eBay watchers, and then the past sales are over 25, um, 28,000. Okay, so we know this is a proven product because if this number definitely outweighs the number of eBay watchers, I mean people who are just looking at the product compared to like you know the actual sales of it, we know that this is a proven product that people are you know actually buying this product they're actually using this product so this is something that you can use in your store and you can go down the list and um, find other products now to give you some help with this if you're going to be using the jewelry niche um, you don't just want to focus on jewelry like rings or uh, you know earrings by itself because when it comes time to advertising when it comes time especially if you're using Facebook ads um, it's really hard to target just for like jewelry or a bracelet you can but like the audience size for it is so large that it'll be really hard so what you need what you should do is if you're going to start with the jewelry niche now don't get me wrong like these particular items you can have in your store but as far as like the promotion of products the advertising for products you want to go with a niche specific um, piece of jewelry so let's say like you are in the horse niche okay so we'll let's put in horse jewelry I'm gonna click enter. Now look what's coming up. So we have this of a um, a mother and a child horse. Okay, um, this is like with three horses on it. You have a horse pendant right here, and, and you know, and um, you can just scroll down to see other products. You got horseshoes and things like that. So now this is easier to target with your ads because when you go over to Facebook ads and you have to start finding your your um, interest to target your ads to, you know, you can put in, you know. Um, you know horse or like maybe some fan pages like I love horses I love my horse or something like that it's a little bit more targeted instead of just targeting jewelry now you have a really um, targeted um, um, you know uh, interest that you can look for and it's the same thing like cat jewelry so let's say you're in the cat niche you're gonna put in cat jewelry now see what comes up right and like look at this one it has 1600 eBay watches but look at the past sales of 15k so you can definitely try to test this in your store to see what happens. Now, um, where, uh, like I said, where most people don't like to use watch count is because they will simply come here, scroll down to see what products they have, and if they don't see anything or they test a few products on here and they don't work, they just feel like watch count don't work. Well, you have to expand your research, your research sometimes because you know also it's those unique items that you know will um, cause people to actually pull out their credit card and purchase from your store. So what you do is you'll go ahead and click on one of these. Now we're on to eBay. Now what you want to do 
is once you hear you want to scroll down and see what other products are um, related or recommended okay so let's scroll all the way down so now we are starting to see this little cat pendant this probably wasn't even listed on watch count but you can start seeing other products like cat related products okay so you definitely just want to go in and start doing your research and seeing what other products they have and you can do the same thing with AliExpress whenever you put a niche item in there and products come up you want to also scroll all the way down and see what related products come up so now we see like this uh, another cat um, you know pendant necklace here um, let's say if you want to go into the owl niche probably you didn't even like I said like your store you want to sell different jewelry items from like you know with different animals now you have an owl right here now this is probably something like if you were to search owl jewelry and watch count you probably wouldn't see this but now you see it here and it's only 99 cents and you could probably mark this up to anywhere you know depending on like uh you know what it's made of and things like that you could probably charge anywhere from you know 20 bucks on up for this particular pendant necklace okay so that's the power of watch count so don't sleep on watch count watch count is still a great resource that you can use in order to search for products and get product ideas now inside of my home study course ecom diamond i go through several different other ways that you can actually search for different products other websites that you can find products that people really really want and if you actually find those products and you go on to aliexpress to find like maybe a cheaper version of it um, you can also sell that in your store as well and again that's in full explanation inside of my home course on um, my home study course the ecom e diamond now under this video I will put a link there it's currently in beta mode right now um, so that means you also get a, a special price for it. So if you want more information about ecom diamond go ahead underneath this video go ahead and click on that link you also get access to my uh, private Facebook group for um, those who have purchased this product so you can get additional support and things like that but again this is how you can start searching for products and um, you know there's many ways you can search for products but this is a great way to find products that people are already buying you can always find you know proven products by using watch count because you know people are already buying this and that's a great way to actually start getting some sales inside of your store so underneath this video I'll put all that information uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel make sure you like it and I see you guys on the next one peace